to Māori had Fokotoki, which are stories about a giant bird which swooped down and killed children. Europeans didn't believe this. But in 1873, European science showed that Māori Fokotoki were in fact correct. And here we have the first bones of this giant eagle that were ever found. The leg bones, the longer bones of the wing, and the incredibly sharp, long, killing claws. This is the leg bone of the swamp area that most New Zealanders are familiar with, and the leg bone, the exact same bone, of Haas Eagle. Wow. This was a, an amazing bird. This, this, just the sheer size of it. This is a, an, an eagle which, not just large in wingspan, and, but also in sort of sheer bulk and size and muscle. The legs were really solid and the talons are just so powerful. Couldn't have carried the, the weight of a full-sized human, but definitely could have carried a baby. And we know that they predated Moa, one of the largest birds that ever lived. So this is an actual um, specimen of a large female Moa, um, and you can reference it to the model itself. So it would have weighed approximately sort of 180 to 200 kilos. And these are the actual puncture marks of the talons of the Haast Eagle within the pelvis. To punch through the muscle and the bone is quite incredible. It would have been just like a great big stone being dropped on you with some talons to also sort of rip you apart. They were only found on the South Island, which is really quite remarkable, that such a small island could have held a population of such a gigantic bird. We've only got about 50 to 100 individuals in museums worldwide, and in the landscape they were also very rare, with possibly only less than 1,000 pairs alive at any one time. The nearest relative using DNA is undoubtedly the little eagle of Australia. It must have got blown over, but when it, when it turned up here, essentially it had this unlimited um, food source, and as most sort of apex predators do, it just, it just can continue to evolve to be able to take down the largest of the moa species. Would have had a little bit of competition at the start with a, a bird known as the adsbill, which was the ancestor of the weka, which was like a giant rail. But it quickly probably outstripped it and, and became the top, top apex predator. So moa bones such as this were exchanged around the world and established our collections. And here we have one of the very few objects made from the bone of a puakai that has been used by Māori to make holes in seal skin. And this was found at Wairau Bar, which is the oldest Māori site in New Zealand, up in Blenheim, yeah. We can only surmise that they died out because of the fact that their major prey, the moa, became extinct. And in fact, we know that they probably became extinct at, a, at precisely the same time as the moa became extinct. Until this discovery in 1873 of the bones of this giant eagle, it was believed that that was entirely mythology. Um, but we now have scientific proof that such a giant bird actually did exist. We should have believed the oral histories in the first place. Exactly.